Good morning, this is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Let's look at what's driving markets today and what actually was driving markets yesterday. Yesterday was one massive update, significant. All markets were up. The Dow was up over 700 points. The Nasdaq was up over 3%. The S&P was up over 3%. You had European markets that were absolutely surging. You've got UK markets were also going up. Asian markets. What was the turnaround? If you notice yesterday, those who are new traders, those who are experienced traders, the market opened up in the morning up over 200 points in the US and then gapped up. What does that mean, gapped up? It had a significant jump up in the market and as a result of that significant jump the all asset classes went up however it did not retrace it didn't go back down to where it was early in the day which is what it's done for the last few sessions if you notice this time it went up and it stayed up and that would be significant as far as an investor is concerned why because it showed that there was appetite out there to pick up cheap stocks why was the appetite and what caused the appetite of the investors to come back into the market and buy stocks and this time not sell them or get rid of them they held on all the way through the, all the way through yesterday's trading session quite simple look at the price of oil oil yesterday was dumped it went as high as 132 132 dollars intraday and then closed 11 percent down on the day at 108, 110. That is a significant drop. Remember, oil is the key driver in the economy. You've got the whole of global economy still using oil. We haven't yet gone full electric. So when oil drops, investors look at airlines, they look at cruise ships, they look at holiday makers, and they bought all the airlines. Airlines went up as much as 10% yesterday because of the cost of oil had gone down. Also, the other commodities went down, which was um, gold and silver and palladium. Even nickel dropped a little bit, which is surprising. Then you had all the soft grains, which is the wheat, the barleys and the corns. All of them were limit downs. Limit downs, quite simple. The price fell so significantly that the exchanges put a stop on any further selling. That's how much the soft grains fell yesterday. All of that gave encouragement to investors who trade equities to go into the market, buy the equities and keep on buying. And that's exactly what they did. They kept on buying those equities and they didn't stop. And that caused the market to jump significantly and held on to all those gains, which was encouraging for all short term traders and all short term investors. In addition, look at the 10 year yield on the on the US Treasury, 1.94%. That is a big jump. That's, that is a significant jump yesterday to the degree where the price fell so much that also gave encouragement to investors to get involved in banking shares. Remember, banking shares is a major competition. Banks are in major competition with a bond. A bond gives you guaranteed return. And the banks were always in competition with the bonds. If those bonds go up and go down in price, then the investors are looking to get rid of the bonds and they go, the shares the ba shares of banks will benefit. The other significant factor yesterday, which cryptocurrency traders would have paid attention to if you understand what's going on in the market, sleepy Joe Biden. Yes, the president of the United States woke up from his drowsiness and sleepiness and signed an executive order that there should be an increase at looking at digital asset allocation that means cryptocurrencies that means bitcoin and that sent bitcoin raging up at eight percent higher on the day can you imagine if the u.s if sleepy joe who is awake next time we should all take a photo of him when he's awake and keep it on our mantelpieces but if sleepy joe allows the u.s to officially accept Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a medium in order to exchanges or purchases, you will see Bitcoin at $100,000, $150,000 very, very quickly. So those cryptocurrencies, keep an eye on this space and keep an eye on what Sleepy Joe is likely to do over the coming months. It could be those who are holding cryptos, you could benefit significantly. 
In addition to that, you've got to look at where the markets are going forward. At the moment, the markets have pulled out of bear territory. So yesterday, there was the day before the correction was so significant, that put the NASDAQ and the Dow and the S&P into correction territory. And that was a concern. However, they've pulled themselves out of that. So where, we, where do we go from here? Are the markets now going to rise further and going to forget all about the geopolitical concerns? Or are they going to trend back downwards? We will wait to see. In my opinion, they will continue trending downwards. However, you've got several factors that may stop that. Number one, you may have a central bank stimulus. I'm against it. I don't think it's the right idea. However, they may they flush the economy again with money. What effect will that have on inflation? That will just cause inflation to go even higher. It's like putting coals on a fire. However, they're short-sighted and they believe that if the economy will be affected, they're going to pour more money into the economy through a stimulus package. If you take out the geopolitical concerns, you've still got the two main concerns I've talked about since September. And I hope some of you have listened and benefited. You've got inflation and you've got interest rates. Interest rates will go up this year. In my opinion, I've stated again, so people can quote me, I expect inflation to be in the UK between 4 and 5% by the end of the year, and in the US between 4 and 5% by the end of the year. Extreme? Yes, but I'm an extreme type of guy. In addition to that, I expect inflation, official inflation, not underlying inflation, to be quoted in the double digits. Underlying inflation is also is already well into the digits. So please make, a, please make a note that this is what I stated. Anyhow, that's it for today. That's it for today. You can catch me on LinkedIn, on WhatsApp. You can join my um, Instagram. You can like the, like the YouTubes. You can join YouTube, subscribe to YouTube, give comments back, get this video out. Get it out to the trainee investor, to the experienced investor, to the professionals. May Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good day.